the person in question is wrestling with a profound sense of regret, an emotional struggle that reveals a lingering attachment to you. Despite the readiness you've expressed to move on, their feelings for you remain deeply entrenched, creating a perplexing emotional landscape. The disbelief they experience at the prospect of your readiness to move forward underscores the intensity of their emotional involvement. Complicating matters further, the person finds themselves entangled in a web of emotions, unable to sever the connection they feel toward you. The struggle to let go is palpable, and as they grapple with this internal conflict, they find themselves facing an additional challenge. A third party has emerged as a formidable obstacle, actively obstructing their attempts to forge ahead with their lives. This external influence, represented by the third party, adds a layer of complexity to their emotional turmoil. Not only are they contending with their own internal battles, but the interference of this third party introduces a discordant element. This third party, whether intentionally or inadvertently, serves as a roadblock to their journey of moving on. Amidst this struggle, the individual experiences a profound sense of confusion and conflict. The third party, it seems, is playing a significant role in their emotional state, attempting to convince them not to move on. This persuasion, whether through words or actions, contributes to the individual's sense of being manipulated, intensifying the emotional pain they are already experiencing. The person's emotional state is further complicated by a dualistic conflict. On one hand, they are engaged in a battle with the third party, resisting the external pressure and influence. On the other hand, they grapple with a well of emotions directed towards you, contributing to a state of emotional upheaval. The internal tug of war intensifies their feelings of desperation, leaving them uncertain about the appropriate course of action. In these moments of emotional turmoil, it becomes imperative for the person to recognize that they are not alone in their struggles. Similar situations have been faced by many, and it is indeed possible to navigate through this challenging terrain. While the current circumstances may seem insurmountable, it is essential for them to understand that, with time and resilience, they can emerge on the other side of this emotional maelstrom. Breaking free from the third party's influence is a critical step in reclaiming agency over their emotions and decisions. This involves a deliberate effort to focus on their own healing and personal growth. Although the path ahead may be arduous, the person needs to acknowledge that healing is a gradual process that unfolds with time and support. It is during this challenging period that a support network becomes invaluable. Friends, family, or even professional guidance can provide the necessary encouragement and perspective to help the individual navigate through their complex emotions. These supportive individuals care about their well-being and are eager to assist in the healing process. The person must grant themselves the time and space needed for healing. This entails a process of introspection, self-discovery, and acceptance. It's a journey that involves acknowledging the pain, understanding the lessons learned, and gradually letting go of the past. While the present may be dominated by regret and emotional strife, the future holds the promise of renewal and the rediscovery of happiness. I deeply regret not having the emotional openness to let you into my life. You are a departure from my usual dating experiences, and to impress you, I resorted to a myriad of lies. The truth about my complex life situation at that time was something I chose to conceal, opting instead to take the seemingly easier route of ghosting you. However, I want you to know that I am actively engaged in a daily process of self-improvement, working earnestly to become my authentic, complete self. My focus is solely on you, you are the one who captivates my attention. In retrospect, I acknowledge that I allowed myself to be influenced by the wrong people who held misconceptions about you. I regret letting external opinions wedge themselves between us. 
I confess that I tried to project an image of indifference to my friends in an attempt to maintain a facade of strength. This was a misguided effort to avoid appearing vulnerable, and in doing so, I failed to prioritize our connection. Reflecting on past relationships, I recognize a pattern where I tend to detach when my emotions intensify, leading to the downfall of those connections. I want you to understand the profound impact your beauty has on me, each time I see you, I am overcome with butterflies. The intensity of the love I feel for you is unparalleled, and I've never experienced such depth of emotion with anyone else. As I continue on this journey of self-discovery and growth, my sincere hope is that I can ultimately return to you as a person who is not only genuine but also capable of nurturing a deep and meaningful connection with you. Dearest love, my thoughts were consumed by you last night, as they often are. However, on this particular evening, my contemplations delved into the intricate tapestry of moments we've woven together. Reflecting upon these shared experiences brought forth a poignant blend of joy and sorrow. Immersing myself in the nostalgia, I revisited our past conversations, each exchange carrying a weight of significance that made it seem as if you were right beside me. Closing my eyes, I could almost feel the warmth of your gaze, an ethereal closeness that transcended physical distance. Compelled by an irresistible force, I found myself gazing at your picture, scrolling through our messages repeatedly, half expecting a message from you to illuminate my screen. I became so absorbed in the essence of your thoughts and the energy you emanate that the gradual welling up of tears took me by surprise. Unbeknownst to me, I was swept away by a tide of emotions, and before I realized it, I found myself crying, the kind of cathartic release that had eluded me for far too long. The weight on my heart felt palpable, and my head seemed burdened by an unseen heaviness. In that poignant moment, an intense yearning for your physical presence overcame me. I craved the solace of your embrace, longing for a comforting hug that would dispel the emotional tempest within. Imagining you enveloping me in warmth, I clung to my pillow, seeking refuge in its softness as I allowed my tears to flow freely. My heart felt not just heavy but hollow, aching with a profound sense of absence, as if an integral part of me was missing. These instances serve as vivid reminders of the profound depth of my love for you and the overwhelming sense of emptiness that pervades my being when you're not by my side. It's during such emotional reveries that the true magnitude of my feelings becomes unmistakably clear. Typically, I navigate through life with a veneer of resilience, brushing aside my emotions with the reassuring mantra that everything is fine. However, last night marked a departure from this usual stoicism. There was an overwhelming urge within me to shed the protective armor to bear my vulnerabilities in a raw and unfiltered manner. It was as if my soul was imploring me to declare, with unrestrained honesty, that I was not okay. In that vulnerable state, all I craved was your comforting presence, a reassuring touch to anchor me amidst the tempest of my emotions. Despite the facade of strength I usually wear, I found myself succumbing to a moment of weakness. The emotional floodgates, tightly sealed for so long, burst open. It's a phenomenon familiar to anyone who has suppressed their feelings, the eventual eruption of pent-up emotions. So, let me be unequivocal in my expression, I am not okay. With the passage of each day, the void left by your absence seems to widen, and the ache of missing you intensifies. As I grapple with this emotional maelstrom, I take solace in the knowledge that my vulnerability is a testament to the authenticity of my emotions. The tears shed and the unfiltered longing expressed are profound declarations of the love that courses through my veins. In the crucible of this emotional turbulence, I find a renewed understanding of the depth of my feelings and an unwavering acknowledgement of how much I yearn for your comforting presence in my life.